Good day, and welcome back to Yugoslavia. Joseph Broz Tito is proving to be a champion of communism. And historically, he and Stalin had a bit of a rivalry. So much so that uh, they, they both threatened to and perhaps attempted to kill each other several times. That being the case, Tito has announced that Yugoslavia has no more need of this thing called the common turn. And Stalin, you're on your own. Yep. Goodbye. No more common turn for Tito. And because of those attempted murders, because of those attempted assassinations, Tito plans on taking Stalin for a ride and then dumping him in a lake. So we, 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 we might do something like that at some point. But for now, let's consolidate our conquest. And um, I think infrastructure first. Let's consolidate our conquest. Get all this stuff down there. Infrastructure first. There you go. How are we doing on ports? Got a couple level 10s. Let's get another level 10. Get another level 10. Get another. Get another. We want a couple level 10s around so that we can support our troops. That should do. And let's put that somewhere near... Just put it at the top. Screw it. Get that done. Wow, look at all those civilian factories constructing stuff. You know why? Because we're not importing a damn thing. That is so good. We have so many resources. All right, but we don't really have much of a quote-unquote army. We have a few guys. They do the best they can. First and foremost, let's go ahead and merge these guys. Stack of 64. Put you on the uh, Russian border here. I think since their color is red, we'll give you a better color. We'll go blue. Yugoslavian blue. There you go. And we'll say, hey, if, uh, if Stalin wants to pick a fight, we'll bring it. We will bring it. We do not back down from a fight. Then we have to decide, what the hell are we going to do? We only have 74 divisions. Stalin has, you know, a lot. And if we plan on taking them out, we're going to have to fight the entire common turn, which includes the Soviet Union and all of his puppets. Now, these three nations, Xinjiang, Mongolia, and Piroc, they are not puppets. So we'd have to fight them as well. But as far as puppets go, you have Siam, Korea, Japan, Ethiopia, Libya, Turkey, Finland, or what's left of it, and Spain. Spain, who has 55 divisions on the Canary Islands, you silly goose. Now, fighting Russia is going to be an uphill battle. We're probably going to want to build a few more troops to actually make that work. So to that end, the next political power we're going to get is probably going to be going to all adults serve. And we're going to recruit a whole bunch more troops. Maybe another 40 divisions or something. God, we have extra factories. What am I going to do with all these extra factories? I guess we could start building some of these. Might as well. And where is our fleet currently? They're docked up in Toronto. That's fine. Let's uh, let's put them on search and destroy out in the Baltic. And I just come up over here. And let's set your home port to Konigsberg. And let's upgrade Konigsberg. Oh, it's already queued. Okay, so that'll get to level 10 as soon as possible. Uh, now, if he starts bombing that... Wait, is this China? Oh, God, China's a colon. If Russia starts bombing Konigsberg, then we can just move their 
Actually, why don't we just make him dock up over here? Because there's no way Russia can bomb that shit. Actually, there's a level 10 over here. It just docked there. That's fine. And uh, set him to medium priority for repairs. Sounds good. And for research, well, we already got Heavy Tank 3 being researched. All the 1943 tech is being researched right now. We could upgrade our paratroopers, but eh. 1942 support equipment might be real nice. Uh, what do we have in our division's support slots right now? Select. What do we got? Ah, we have an anti-tank. That's actually really useful, especially against Russia. We're still building anti-tank. We are building anti-tank level two. All right, why don't we go for anti-tank level three? Just get that out of the way. Oh, oh, it's not ready yet. Okay, well, soon enough, we can get anti-tank three. Researching battleships, invasion. Okay, okay. Let's get some more naval dockyards up and running. Just max out these states. Why not? That should be plenty. And let's put them up here. Somewhere up here. Oh my goodness, there's just so many. There's just so many. Come on, where are they? There's the oil. I downgraded the priority on oil because we're actually over on oil by like 120. There we go. And we have more military factories ready to rock. Yeah, we're good on that. I think we're good to go. Yep, yep, looks good. We're not even using this artillery for... We don't use that at all, at all do we? Oh, we might use it on paratroopers. Yeah, we have artillery on paratroopers. Okay, I'll keep the artillery going then. Might as well. Let's unpause and go forth. Oh, well, look at that. Stalin wants us back. He's like, come on, come on. I was just, uh, I was just joking, huh? You didn't, you didn't die anyway. You, you outsmarted those bastards. See, see, uh, you know, I'm not a bad man. I just tried to kill you once. Don't worry about it. Let's get paratroopers over here. Can we do that? Hey, battleship one. Excellent. Battleship two. Transports. Still building transports. Very good. Do we have any extra planes? I mean, I guess we do have some extra planes. Let's put something down here. Four hundred fighters. Sounds good. Okay. And we'll just put the fighters over Manchuria. Because when the war starts, we're probably going to be paradropping from Japan to Korea. And, uh, we're, you know, we don't really have much of a fleet. So most likely we'll just be paradropping a huge, huge army on there. Like a full stack of 24. That's my guess. All right, more manpower, please. Oh, right, we can't do it until we're at war. Oh, I forgot about that. We have to start the war before we can do it. Ah, balls. So many balls. Well. Let's put you on medium priority. Well. Let's get some more paratroopers. Let's get 14 more. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And then when the war starts, when the war starts, we can just... Uh, switch our manpower over. No problem. And I'm not going to start the war until we have 24 paratroopers over here. 
I want to make sure it's going to be a pretty damn good pair drop because we're going to be fighting the P Rock, who has like 60 divisions. Mongolia's got one, so that's 61. There's like 25 here in Xinjiang. So looking at like 85 divisions just between those guys. 10 more here in Mankukuo. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a fight. We're going to need at least 24 guys over there to handle it. Rocket effort? Sure. We're going to need a lot of guys over there. Perhaps in the meantime, we'll take something else. But, but what? What the hell else could we take? Uh, we could switch over to Offensive Expert. Um, sure. Yeah, why not? Screw it. I don't know if I should even bother with Spain. I mean, it's just the Canary Islands. I don't think I care. How many troops do you have over here, Italy? A lot. Italy has a lot of troops here. Holy crap, that's a lot. All right, that, that might be a problem. We might need to put some troops down there on the Italian border. All right, perhaps we should build two forts here and just put just put two dudes on this. Yeah, let's do that. Just block Italy in. Because I don't really want to deal with him if I don't have to. It, it's a situation like... It sounds like it's more trouble than it's worth. You know what I mean? Oh, but it's going to be Libya as well. Right. I mean, Libya doesn't have an army at all, but Italy can just walk around. So that doesn't work. Well... Ah, uh, fuck it. Build the forts anyway. Okay, transport ship one. Very good. I'm not going to bother transport ship two just yet. Okay, just going to go heavy cruiser from there. Let's start carriers going. There's a whole bunch of tech that we need to catch up on. We're just, I mean, we're so specialized on just para drops and tanks. That's all we've done so far is para drops and tanks. And we're good at it. We're good at it. But, uh, man, we just can't do anything else. Now, see, he says he's pretty confident about invading Russia right now. Whoa, the P-Rock just declared war on China. Okay. Oh, that's actually really good for us. If they take out China, then we can just invade directly from uh, from Indochina. We don't even need to paratrop. Oh, that's cool. All right, get that last anti-tank. Yeah, there's no way in hell China's going to... Oh, what if China joins the Allies? Ho, ho, ho. What if China joins the Allies and all of a sudden the common turn is fighting the Allies? My goodness. What a mess that would be. What a mess that would be. I mean, there's no way China's going to beat all of that. Just no way. None. Russia's pulling troops off our border. It's probably going to go over there and try to fight China. Silly goose. Yeah, the one thing we just don't have much of is tungsten. So I'm tempted just to go eat Portugal, because he's got lots of tungsten. Look at that, 300 tungsten right there. But there's no need. We're good. We're fine. And we're pretty much out of national focus points now. Yeah. How many troops do you have, China? Quite a quite a lot. I wonder if he can hold out on his own. Maybe. Oh my goodness. The P-Rock just gave all of his troops to Russia, so Russia now has, I don't know, 700 divisions or more? <laughs> that is just an insane number of troops, Russia. Oh, Soviet declared war on Iraq. 
The Asia Alliance. Hey, hey, China has formed the Asia Alliance with Iraq. So he's not going to join the Allies. Okay. This is very weird. You can be the Red Army down there. Are we good on heavies? Can we add another heavy? Yeah. All right. So you need to declare one Iran. Yeah, I kind of figured he would do stuff like this. He's a crazy man, that Stalin guy. Heavy tank three is done. Very good. Uh, probably should just get started on modern tanks. Yeah, let's not wait. Alright, swap out production. We'll call it the penultimo. This music is so exciting, but we're at peace. When you're at peace, you should have, I don't know, classical music or some shit. Something to calm down. <laughs> I don't need to get any more tents, game. Shit. God, we have so many mechanized. 20,000. All right, let's build some more uh, heavy divisions. Let's get another 10. I want to have some divisions to stand in Turkey because we're going to have to invade this way as well. So just group up in Ankara. All right, anti-tank three is done. Swap over production. Excellent. Asia Alliance. Maybe we should join the Asia Alliance. All right, nuclear effort is... Is that it? That's it. Our, uh, our focus tree is gone. Okay. Well, I guess we get lots and lots of political power now. Iran is sitting... Oh, wow, Iran's going communist. Iran has, like, 17 divisions, and Iraq has one. <laughs> yeah, Iran is going communist. How's USA doing on communism? He's getting there. He's not quite there, though. He's at 38%. Oh, p -Rock got some troops stuck in Xi'an. Nice. This looks like it might have been a naval invasion. That's kind of cool. We don't need the infantry expert, but this other guy sucks. I mean, there's not that many good choices here. Popular figurehead would give us some more national unity. All right. Why not? 83 unity. Look at that. Battleship 3, Battleship 4. Let's start building the battle. No, 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 because Battleship 4 won't take that long to research. It's hard to justify Battleship 3 construction because they take forever to build one, and we'll have Battleship 4 soon enough. All right, looks like Iran is gone. Russia broke through in the east. The west is all mountains, so he's having a tough time there. But the east... Well, there's a lot of mountains in the east, too. <laughs> I 
All right, carriers are working. I guess we should get our airplanes going as well. Is it possible to get 100 unity? No, your minimum unity is 10 and your maximum unity is 90. And they have those caps so that uh, you're never required to take a nation's entire nation. Like you don't have to take all their stupid little islands or provinces that don't matter. 90% is the cap. And uh, you can never annex a nation. You can never end the war with a nation just by taking one province. So the floor on national unity is 10%. Wonder if I can even join the alliance. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, I think we'll do that. We'll join the Asia Alliance. We'll help defend China. Why not? Why not? This is Stalin just being a dick. You know, as if the fascists weren't bad enough. Stalin, you're a dick. Stop. Stop being a dick, Stalin. All right, the paratroopers are on their way over. Where are they? They're sailing over right now. There they are. Look at those green horns. So they're going to be ready to paradrop into Korea after they take out Japan. And we'll probably put some more dudes right here. In fact, why don't we grab some right now? I'll take... I don't know, whoever's, whoever's green, these guys. All these green idiots. How many is that? Seven? No more greenies? All right. I'll take 12 guys. And I'll get a new general. Oh, he's a clone. He's a clone. And we'll say, hey, get over here. And that'll be your first target, Siam. Swap out the artillery construction. There you go. And that color sucks. Give you a better color. There you go. All right, now Russia's really getting on my border. Holy shit. How many is that? Icarus, really? Our airplanes are called Icarus? I like that. Let's see, 29, 50, no, 60, 71, 89, 97, 121, 131, 176. Russia has 176 divisions on my border. I'm sitting there with 50. Yeah, Russia has a lot of troops. Just putting that out there. 176 divisions on my border. That's pretty cray cray. Should I even give a shit about Ethiopia? I probably should. God damn it. All right. Give me two more guys. The problem with Ethiopia is it's all mountains, and I really don't want to deal with this crap, but... I guess we have to. Fair enough. All right, government shift. I think we're all right. I think we'll hold on to these points. We'll use these points for manpower as soon as the war starts. All right, ready to go on Japan. Good, good. Paratroopers want to kick some ass. I approve. Keep working on them wonderful fighters. Oh, goodbye, Iran. You tried. You tried. Yeah, China's doing quite well against the P-Rock. This, uh, this is way better than I expected. 
Now that'll probably change as soon as Russia starts sending troops over here, but for now it looks like China's doing great. Uh, in the west, Russia is dominating. Carry two, carry three. What's this? Oh, low supplies here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe shift south a little bit. Let me put these infrastructures at the top. There we go. Let's make sure we get this built up. Because, yeah, I don't need to take attrition here. It's not necessary. I don't need your attrition. You ain't my real daddy. Tends to just to spit these idiots out. Just get them on the border. But it's better probably just to wait. All right, artillery and anti-tank guns are done. Not going to bother with super heavies. Let's get some more support equipment going. We're a couple years behind the times on support equipment. That's no good. All right, well, tell you what. Why don't we call this an episode here? We'll come back next time where we'll start the war against... Against... Against? Against the Soviet. <laughs> war against the Soviet. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Have a good day.